The location of Tattoo City you know well, but I would like to point out why we as foreign direct investors chose this location. When we look at Nairobi and look to the south, uh, the growth of Nairobi is constrained to the south by the National Park and the International Airport. And Tattoo City, located on, tat on Nairobi's doorstep, now just 30 minutes from the CBD, Westlands and Upper Hill, thanks to the really uh, visionary investment of successive governments in Kenya in the transport network. Therefore, we are just a couple kilometers off the junction of the northern and eastern bypass, five kilometers from the Thika Superhighway, and whether through the eastern bypasses, uh, four lanes, uh, dualization all the way to JKIA, the vision of Tattoo City is to become the leading new city in sub-Saharan Africa. We're on 5,000 acres, and we estimate that our eventual population will be 250,000 residents. Two to three years ago, we had no residents. Today, I'm proud to say that we have nearly 4,000 residents at Tattoo City. We're growing very quickly. We are also the first special economic zone uh, that has become operational in Kenya. Taking you through our current developments, in the first location is Crawford International School. That is a South African investment, uh, British curriculum school, right in the heart of Tattoo City. It's where my son currently studies in year five. The second position is a townhouse development by Unity Homes. And number three is Kajani Ridge, where we have half and quarter acre service plots. Number four is Nova Pioneer Secondary School. Number five, Lifestyle Heights, a residential development. Number six is Nova Pioneer Primary School. Number seven is the CBD, the Central Bis Business District of Tattoo City. Number eight is the One Stop Shop, which is part of the Special Economic Zone. And that's where all government services for Special Economic Zone enterprises can be procured. And number nine is 1,100 uh, units of housing by Unity Homes. Number 10 is another 2,000 apartments by Unity Homes. 11 is a small airstrip, which is in the center of Tattoo City, which is a legacy of the coffee estates. And number 12 is the Tattoo Industrial Park, which is really the economic engine of Tattoo City. And I would argue it's one of the ec economic engines of Kenya's economy. There is over 200 billion shillings of investment that has gone into that area. That is our own infrastructure, and that is the more than, 77, more than 70 companies uh, that are currently either developing uh, or already operating. In the foreground, you have Unity Homes, the white apartments. Next to that, you have Africa Logistics Properties, which is the largest grade A warehousing in East Africa. This is an investment by CDC, the British government, and IFC with local Kenyan investors. Uh, the businesses in there are Copia, the e-commerce company in the foreground, which ships 50,000 orders a day from Tattoo City into rural Kenya. Uh, you have Twiga Foods, which we'll be visiting today, and also Freight Forwarders Solutions. This is a view of the first phase of the Tattoo Industrial Park, which is 450 acres, and 95% of that has been sold. We'll move on to the next slide where you see this is a cold storage facility in Tattoo City. It's the largest in East Africa at 15,000 square meters. This photo is a couple months old. Uh, you will see it right next to Twiga today. It is being completed in the next couple months. This is a big part of food security, the big part of food security in Kenya, uh, where the large scale uh, uh, food storage, uh, cold storage networks are able to reduce uh, food spoiling. This is a sample of the brands, businesses that are at Tattoo City. Uh, they range from what I call Kenyan champion brands like Qual and all its brands, Cooper, K Brands, uh, Kim Fay, uh, and many others, as well as multinational companies. Tattoo City has businesses, homes, and schools. We don't have uh, office buildings and retail, but that's what we're focusing on now. The central business district of Tattoo City um, has its first building, under construction and completing at the end of the year. This is a very, very exciting development for Tattoo City and for all of Kenya. CCI is a global call center um, operator and they are really at the forefront of bringing call center seats, as they call them, out of India and Asia and into Africa. Now CCI has done this first in South Africa where they have 15,000 employees and now they're doing it in Kenya. And if you, this building on the right, completed at the end of the year, will have 5,000 employees, young Kenyans, generally between the ages of 18 and 25. 
In the center, we have our first retail area, which will also be ready at the end of the year, where we have uh, well-known restaurants and other Kenyan brands that are opening shops there. Uh, next door, we've just finished the concept plan on Jabali Towers, which is a high-rise residential complex, along with a four-star hotel. Looking at the infrastructure, which is topical for us today because that infrastructure is very important to attracting both the domestic and international investors, Tattoo City invested its own capital in a dedicated substation, which has 135 MVA capacity, and it's fed by several 66 KV lines. You may have seen our announcement a couple weeks ago. We just crossed a milestone, uh, reached a milestone of 50 kilometers of roads in Tattoo City. Uh, these are high-quality, tarmac international standard roads. And we've also future-proofed ourselves as far as technology with uh, more than 15 kilometers currently of fiber network already installed, which we will bring up to 32 kilometers by the end of this year. We're very proud of job creation at Tattoo City. Um, as somebody who's worked on the project since the very beginning and even up to a few years ago, um, what has changed in the last three years in Tattoo City, if you're here between 6 and 8 in the morning, you will see thousands and thousands of people arriving for work, walking on from jobs from nearby Ruiru, BTL, the areas around Tattoo City. So there are about 10,000 jobs uh, created already at Tattoo City. This includes the call center, which is coming at the end of the year. We provide free skills training for the local community where we graduate uh, people with NITA certificates. These are construction skills, plumbing, masonry. 